What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and so this shit doesn't take forever Let's get right into what this is. You may be thinking Mike. What the fuck is this WWE figure universe? Yes, that's exactly what it sounds like. Let me quick give you a quick fucking rundown on what this is gonna be So I've been wanting to do a WWE 2k universe mode for a long time But unfortunately 2k 20 flopped it's shit blah blah blah. No one cares. So I decided hey. Let's put them together. We're going to do a WWE figure universe mode type deal. So it's not going to be your ordinary fucking pig fed with the stupid ass strings and your seat of people's fingers. And I'm not doing all that. I don't got the time. I don't have the patience to fucking pose them around for hours on end. This is not going to be the matches. Like it's not going to be matches. It's going to be booking. It's going to be like the whole, it's like universe mode. That's what I'm going for. A WWE figure universe mode. So if you don't get it, you're fucking stupid. Uh, it's, it's gonna be like once a week. I'm gonna do it every week. I'm only gonna have one brand, which is gonna be Raw. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do all the championships and the champions in this episode. Episode 0. I started it off with episode 0, not episode 1. Even though this is an episode, but that's not the point. And then next week's video, it's gonna be once a week, no matter what. I'll get one video out a week now, because I got this series. And it's gonna be next week we're going to start off the actual universe with the royal rumble pay-per-view it's going to be my booking standpoints how i would book things with my rosters my everything but we're just gonna have one roster which is going to be raw and uh yeah let's get right into it so starting shit off the general manager of this universe of this whole rebranding type deal i'm doing will be paul Heyman. he will be at the top of the totem pole he's going to be doing all the decision making even though it's me but in storyline purposes it's will be paul Heyman. and another quick thing if you don't really get it uh i know you guys have probably seen those videos that other people have done like oh if i could book wwe today wad figs i've seen him do it a couple years ago my damn toys did it once it's like they did it one video, though. They only did, like, how they would book the champions, etc., the storylines. I'm making it a series. I'm going to do it every week. That's another quick thing if you don't understand. And since I might have so many figures, which means the roster is going to be huge, and I'm only doing one brand, uh, safe to say we're going to have a lot of fucking championships to crown. So we're going to get right into all the championships I'm going to be using in this universe. The first championship is going to be none other than the WWE Championship. Don't ask me why I'm using the original version, like, when the Rollins came with or whatever. I don't know. I'm using that one. Why not? It's going to be the WWE Championship. The second main championship on this show is going to be the Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship. Next up is we're getting to the mid card. It's going to be the White Intercontinental Championship. We're also going to have the United States Championship. The North American Champion, the Cruiserweight Championship, and lastly, the Tag Team Championships. Now you may be saying, Mike, you're a fucking idiot. Those are way too many championships, but listen, I don't fucking care. I forgot to put that up there. I don't really care. Fuck this lighting. Okay, okay. I don't really care for so many championships. Like I said, I got a big ass fucking roster I gotta book and do shit and make storylines with. So I'm gonna need enough championships to go around. And you may, like, it's not, like, super too many, but it is a decent amount of championships. Total, if you can't count, we got seven championships here. Now, we are going to go ahead and crown all the champions. No, I'm not going to have tournaments for it, mainly because it takes up way too much time to do that at pay-per-views. Some tournaments are good, like, maybe if I did one for one belt. But I'm going to go ahead and crown all the champions and give you the match card for the upcoming first episode of the WWE Universe Royal Rumble. The first ever tag team champions for this universe will begin with the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole and Roderick Strong. While the first cruiserweight champion in this universe going into the first ever episode, Royal Rumble, will be Neville. The first intercontinental championship going in will be none other than undashing Cody Rhodes. The United States champion going in will be none other than John Cena. The North American champion will be Luke Harper. The World Heavyweight champion will be Daniel Bryan. And the WWE champion, of course, has to be Paul Heyman's client, the Beast, Barack Lesnar. Because, of course, it is. Because Paul Heyman, if he was given championships away to everybody... Of course, he's going to make Brock Lesnar the top of the chain. I just realized that sounds so fucking stupid and cringy saying that shit, but I don't fucking care. 
Now, you may be saying, Mike, why are you showing this all again? Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you which ones will be heels and which ones will be faces because you kind of need to know that to follow along. The tag team championships will clearly be heels. Undisputed Air will be heels, of course. John Cena will, of course, be a face. Lesnar will be a heel. Harper will be a heel. Brian will be a face. Cody will be a heel. And Neville will be a heel. So we got a lot of heels on here. But that shit can change in an instance. And again, how I'm going to do this is every week I am going to post one of these videos, WWE Figure Universe. Some people may like it. Some people will say, Mike, you're a fucking idiot. This is the dumbest thing you've ever done. I don't really care. I'm doing it for me because I've been wanting to do this book and give you guys my thoughts. And, you know, just have my own little show without having to pose fucking figures around for hours on end. So that's exactly what I am going to do. And like I said, the next video you see, WWE Figure Universe Royal Rumble will be the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And how I said, I'm only going to have one show, which is going to be Raw. So I'm going to have three Raws. So th like for three weeks, there will be a figure universe uploaded Raw. Raw, 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 Raw. What the fuck am I saying? There will be an episode every week for three weeks. Then it will be a pay-per-view, just like WWE does in real life. So, like I said, the next one will be Royal Rumble. We're going to start the storylines, and everything will start at the Royal Rumble. And then, and then after that will be three episodes of Raw, and then it will lead to Elimination Chamber. And then after that, three weeks, and then the WrestleMania. You know how it works. I don't know why I got to say this shit over and over again, because I know people will ask me and send me DMs on Instagram. Mike, what the fuck is this? I don't understand. So, I'm explaining it to you. So now I'm going to go into the Royal Rumble match card coming up next week. So next week's episode will be Royal Rumble, like I've said 10 times. And the first match of that night will be the North American Championship match between Luke Harper and Cesaro. Following that will be a fatal four-way match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Tony Nese versus Neville versus Buddy Murphy versus Rey Mysterio. Next, we will have a John Cena United States Open Challenge for the United States Championship. After which, we will see a champion versus champion match. The World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan versus the WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. And after that, it is the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Now, you may say, who's in that match? You'll just have to wait to find out because mainly, I'm not going to reveal it quite yet. And you might have noticed the Intercontinental Championship was not pictured here on the match card. That's because uh, Cody Rhodes doesn't know what he's doing yet. So uh, we'll find out that on the next episode of uh, Figure Universe. So yeah, that's going to do it for the episode one of WWE Figure Universe. Now, like I said, some of you guys may say this is gay, this is stupid, blah, blah, blah. I don't fucking care what you think. I'm doing this because I want to do it. This episode might have been kind of all sorts of messed up and not really organized. That's because this is just the setup video. This is like the fucking, like the beginning. That's why it's episode zero. It's not real. It's not, this is just showing you guys and telling you guys what this is all going to be about. If you're interested, come watch it every week. If you're not, oh well, I'll still be uploading Mike Mel's every week or every other week whenever I can upload a Mike Mel. Uh, so yeah, all these episodes will probably be between five and ten minutes long. I'm probably going to keep it in that time frame. I don't want people being bored. I don't want people being like, man, that was a quick video. He only did that to upload it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tune in next week. Mike Mel coming out soon, I think, in like two, three days. A new episode of Mike Mel probably will be out before the next episode of Figure Universe. So, follow me on Instagram at Mike Dressing Collector. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya. Peace.